heard a lot about big tents and party unity on the first official day of the Democratic National Convention, and I went out trying to find unity. I first stopped at the Big Tent, a progressive coalition that included Dig and Google and builds itself as the holy grail of inclusive Big Tents, giving bloggers a space to bring the people's voice to coverage. It's a tent that has some odd pairings. T. Boone Pickens, a major funder of the Swift Boat John Kerry Smackdown of 2004, is now allying with progressive green coalitions on alternative energy. Even Obama's on board. Also at the Big Tent, Google giving massages and passing out eco-friendly green shot things. It's also a tent where what you see isn't necessarily what you get. Here, a progressive blogger from Alabama. I'd rather have a Democrat I agree with 70% of the time than a Republican I would agree with 5% of the time. This blogger from Colorado takes the blue side of politics seriously. You keep your own opinion, but you work together for the common good. And do you think the Democratic Party is a party of the big tent? Yes. What does that mean? Um, the, everybody is welcome as long as you're not throwing trash on the floor or getting food fights started or something. So my quest for party unity has led me to this Remix America photo booth. They're doing a mashup of American voices. And really what I'm finding here with the yellow microphones, the blue microphones, the red microphones, is that unity is as much about diversity in voices as it is about politics. Dems, Dems, can't you see? Corporate money kills democracy! Even the anti-war group Code Pink was out protesting the Blue Dog Democrat Party Sunday night, taking issue with the traditionally fiscally conservative wing of the Democratic Party. Peace is not on the platform, and we're here to remind them there are still numerous wars going on, and they're talking about a credit crunch? Well, how about the war? Isn't that the largest drain on our economy? Blue Dog Congressman Alan Boyd from a conservative district in Florida says the Blue Dogs are moving the Democratic Party toward the middle. You got one side that says spending is what we ought to do and the other side you saying tax cuts is what we ought to do and, and little government and less government. Uh, the, the truth is somewhere in the middle and uh, that's what we've been unable to find in the last few years. Until recently, controller of the United States and head of the Government Accountability Office, David Walker, was an appointee of the Clinton, Reagan, and Bush administrations, calls himself an independent now and says there is common ground. We have key sustainability challenges that are not being taken seriously enough by elected officials. Things like fiscal, energy, education, environment, health care, foreign policy, Donkey Elephant, maybe the new Unity Party could be the pig. We're all about unifying people at Trojan. Well, actually, Unity is supposed to be right in there, but hey, this is Unity too. <laughs> Perhaps the biggest tent at the convention is from Trojan Condoms, a tent with a roller coaster ride pushing another universal issue sexual health. Get people to notice that sexual health really isn't on the agenda right now, the, the, both the political and social agendas. I ran a condom awareness race. It involved a banana. It was ugly. Budget deficits, alternative energy, sexual health awareness, just a few of the unifying issues I found on the first day of the DNC. All American as the Falun Gong marching band playing America the Beautiful. They opted out of the Olympics closing ceremony. This is America after all, and crowning thy good in brotherhood isn't always pretty.